Welcome to Kai Master again. So, without wasting more time, you click on this big project button, click on System Ratio 9, that's the resolution we're going to be using. Then, you have to import your original footage first. So, this is my footage. And I want the clip to begin where I'm just about to lie down here from here now. So, I trim to left to play, trip from left to play it. And then, you could, yes, I recorded, I used some sound, I count some numbers so that it will help me sync my action with my screen record. So, and I want it to end, we am giving you double thumbs up, uh, just right here, as I want the project to end. So, I'm just going to go, go ahead now and import my um, screen record. As a layer and I import as a layer just going to bring that in and then push it up a little bit and um, try to sync it along with my video so I want to take it from where I'm punching from the one boom from there just that one punch punch again punch from there that's where I want to take it so i'm just going to pull the volume of the of the of the main footage now for me to hear the count of the screenshot too Counts down. Three, two, one. One. from where i'm punching aha uh -huh. one one from this one now then I want to pull on the volume of this one to hear the count again one from where I'm punching a uh half -huh, from right from here so I want this one to come up and interact as I'm pressing as I'm calling one a uh half -huh, two slide 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 yeah that's very nice so one thing i want to do now is crop my screenshot so that it, my screen record so that it doesn't reveal the upper and the lower part of my phone so i'm just going to crop it like that and then scale it a little bit and position it just right here i want the position to be there so punch you from where i'm actually going to start the the animation from where i'm turning on the hologram from here so i want this to pop up from here i'm pressing boom but it's not just i'm going to use an in animation which is slide up so it's going to slide up like that so i punch and then it slide up hmm, something like that you can see that that is really really very nice since I'm able to sync my um, screen record and my original footage now. I don't need the, the countdown again. So all I have to do now is go to the end, to the very end of the frame, and then just trim to left of playhead. So it's just going to like this. And then as I'm touching this thing, I want it to slide down. So I'm going to use an outward animation from there. So like this, boom. From where I press it, like from here, yeah. So I want this screen record to finish from here, and then I'll use an an out animation, out animation, and then use slide down. So it's going to slide down as I press it. So if you check already, we're already having something very nice, like that. That's nice. Yeah. Wow. That's very nice. So now I want some hologram pointer 
I'll be hologram projector to be at the beginning, at the down part of this video. I want it to slide up at the exact time that my screen record is, is coming up. So I'm going to go to layer, click on media, and then add a solid color. I'm just going to add this one and then extend it to the rest of my screen record. Let's say here, like that. So I want another shape. So I'm just going to go into cropping and turn on mask. Let's click on shape, click on this arrow, arrow down, and then I'm just going to say okay and click on it and then drag it scale it and make sure it's the size of my phone to this to the bottom of this hologram so it's going to let me check that out no i think i have to shift it to this side a little bit just to make it i think i need to scale it now so that it will be like it's coming from the top of that phone on ground something like this so something like this is very nice but i think i want to move i want to move this up a little bit you just have to adjust it till you get the exact taste that you want so i want this to slide up also so i'll use in animation let me use pop up I want it to pop up like that and then the out animation I want it to just slide down like that so no I don't think slide down is okay let me change my out animation to just fade let it just fade let it just fade so um I want to create like a blinking effect for this um, hologram projector so I'm going to turn down the opacity of this one and then I'm going to duplicate this duplicate and then I'm going to use a overall animation for this one. I want it to be a blink show. Like, oh, let me use Flickr. Let me use Flickr. Let me turn on the opacity of this one so that you'll be able to see it very well. So, it will be like that. You can see that it's, it's blinking. Hmm, that's very nice. So, now the next thing we have to do now is to turn this hologram effect we, by just reducing the opacity that is how we are going to sell it you just put it down to 50 percent and boom we have our hologram effect ready so you can see slide and then slide and then slide and then slide and slide and open you can see that's really really very nice oh the out animation is coming before I switch off the hologram. No, 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 that's very bad. I have to shift this a little bit to the back, a little bit to the back, like this. And that is it. We have our hologram effect. So you can just go ahead and um, be creative with this. This is just the basic line, and this is how. You can do a hologram effect so the next thing you want to do is color correct and then click on exports